everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are continuing Project Spearhead, and it's a bit of a weird one, because, well, for the Sylvaneth, there's only one thing I really needed to do, but I had already built the other thing. So to complete the Sylvaneth Spearhead, all I needed to do was complete a Branch Witch, but I had built some extra Colonel Hunters. And, because we don't have a video on either, we're going to do one video on both. <laughs> so... That's what we're doing today, and the colour we're going to be using first is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Saigor Brown and Black Templar. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the bark across both our Branch Witch and our Colonel Hunters. So we're just going to start down here at the foot and make our way all the way up. just like this. Now this is my kind of, oh, this is my scheme. So this one has always been designed to go reasonably quickly, not be too difficult to pull off, for example. So you don't really have to worry too much about being 100% neat. You can just go for it, really. But it's always good to practice, right? Now on the branch witch, I will point out that it is going to include her weapon as well. but only up to here where the blade is. And the other thing to kind of point out is if you have any branches like this one here with the leaves, you don't want to paint in the leaves. that all done we're then going to take some skeleton horde and on the kernoth hunters we're going to apply this in the kind of joints So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over a number of different details. So we'll start here on the Branch Witch. And the first place that we're going to start work is on the Tabard. And we're just going to apply this all over. Like so. like that we're also going to apply this over the top of her hair but what we will also do is we're going to apply this over the top of the leaves and petals 
like so. And in her case, we're going to apply this over top of the kind of headdress, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Just like that sort of thing. We will do the other ones, of course, but we're going to pop over now to our Kernoth Hunters. And, well, it's much the same thing here. We're looking for any petals and leaves. For example, this one here and this one here. These ones down here on the quiver quill, I think is what it's called. Can't remember now. It's been a little while. Like that. However, what our Kernoth Hunter has is a lot of like, it's almost like trim. So, for example, here on this hip, just here, we're going to apply this over the top of that stuff as well. Like that sort of thing. And lastly, we're also going to apply this over the top of this little doodad hanging just here. Well, we are going to require a metallic later, but for now, you can just get flesh terrors red all over it. Like that. So with that all done, we're then going to take two colors. One of them is a mix. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part talisar blue, because that's how we've always done it, so we're not going to change. <laughs> and the other color is warp lightning just on its own. I'm going to be using this on the weapons and the arrows. So we'll start here on the Colonel Hunter. So we're going to take our thinned down talisar blue, and we're going to take this a section at a time. So we're going to apply this over top of the bottom half of the bow. Like that. And then I'm going to wash the brush touch off the water and then grab some warp lightning and then whilst it's still wet we're going to apply the warp lightning over the bottom kind of half of the weapon like that wash the brush once again touch off the water grab a little bit more of our thinned down talisar blue And we're just going to use this to <laughs> merge the colours. Sorry, there's quite a low flying plane. Don't normally get that. Don't know if you would have actually heard that. Just like that sort of thing. Now we will do this on the top. It's a little bit heavy there. You just use a clean brush. Anyway, we're going to grab our Talisar Blue Mix again. I'm going to apply this over top of the little heart inside the Kernoth Hunter. 
like that. And we're going to apply this over top of the arrows. Down here. As well. Just checking that we've got every angle. I think we're good. So, like I said, we'll come back and do the other half of the bow. But what we're going to do on our branch witch here, we're going to do much the same thing, except we're only going to do this on the weapon. So we're going to take the Talisar blue first. Apply this. Like that. Wash the brush. Grab some warp lightning. Play it over the blade tip like that. Wash the brush. Grab a little bit more of that Talisar blue. And then just use it to move it around. And when you do that the first time, you can actually just come over on the other side. And apply it like that. Wash the brush. Go back to the Talisar blue. And apply this over the rest of the blade. Just like that. So with that all done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some Griffhound orange. And I'm going to apply this inside the branch which is mouth. And then next up, we're going to take some Leviathan Purple. And we're going to apply this over top of the back of our worm. And with that Leviathan purple applied, we then take some Black Legion. We're going to apply this over the top of the... Is it a mandible? Basically these bits. And with that done, we're then going to take Volupus Pink. And we're going to apply this over top of the inside of the worm. And with that done, we're then going to take some Retributor Armor. I'm going to apply this over top of the little jewel. Doodad. Hair tie. Bead, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> In the hair. Back here. Like that. 
and we have the other little doodad on our Kurnoth Hunter. Like that. With that then done, we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh. I'm going to use this to shade those gold bits. So with that done, our Kurnoth Hunters and our Branch Witch are now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. However, this is my army. So, we're going to take it to the next level. We do this by adding some highlights, and there's really not that very many that we're going to do, and they're mostly dry brushes. So, the first one is going to be some Karak Stone, and we're going to dry brush this over the top of all of our dark brown bark. So with that Karak Stone dry brush applied, we're then going to take some Fulgrim Pink. And we're going to use this as a dry brush over the top of all of the Flesh Terror's ready areas. that full grim pink dry brush applied and then going to take a tiny little bit of fire dragon bright and just over the branch which is eyes we're just going to apply this to match it up with the mouth basically And so with that all done, we're then going to take some thinned down Corax White. I'm going to use this to highlight the arrows and the weapons. But we don't need to worry about the heart. The heart's fine.
And so with that done, we're then going to finish off the Kurnoth Hunter and do the gold on the branch witch by taking some Stormhost Silver. I'm just going to use this to highlight the gold bits. Just like that. Kind of hunters are done. So with that then done, we want to take some slanesh grey. We're back to dry brushing. I'm going to dry brush this over the Leviathan purple and the Black Legion of our worm. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to pick out the little teethy things. Well, I guess it's the legs of not a worm. So the base is now finally complete. Our project spearhead checks off another one on the list of things to do before we're ready for AOS 4 with the Kurnoth Hunters and the Branch Witch. Uh, and I'm very pleased with this one. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I only needed to do the Branch Witch, but I did have these three Kurnoth Hunters lying about that needed painting as well. So we just got them done. So I hope you enjoyed this one and you found it useful. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.